Carmen wanted to reach over and stop her and uh, just hug her and tell her everything would be better. But that's the emotional part. After suffering years of painful chronic illness, Cindy Schepler wanted to die. She and her husband flew from Knoxville to Switzerland, where a doctor gave her a deadly drug to end her life. Tonight, we bring you more of her story. Her husband tells 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan she hoped her legacy would start a conversation about a medically assisted suicide option. Cindy Schepler had an appointment to die. I just had to keep reminding myself that this was best for her. After years of unimaginably painful illness, she and husband David flew to Switzerland. Doctors there could legally write her a deadly prescription. It was her decision. I, I wasn't going to, I never suggested it. I never, but I never tried to talk her out of it either. I told her I would support her. For a final few moments, they said goodbye. The understanding that this was going to be the last, our last time together. And she, Push the dial. Um, and then I was I was left alone with her after that. Part of me wanted to reach over and stop her, and uh, just hug her and tell her everything would be better. But that's the emotional part. It's not an easy thing to sit there and with a v loving human being one moment and then. She's, off, she's flown away. In her life, Cindy was a tireless advocate. She lobbied the city of Knoxville to declare May 12th Myalgic Encephalomyelitis Day after one of her conditions. In her death, she hoped more people would support medically assisted suicide. It's not without controversy. I wish you could come here and live with Cindy and I for a week. Experience for yourself what her quality of life was like. You think that if people were able to experience or see what she experienced, they would change their mind? I think, uh, hopefully. Her ashes were spread in a Swiss river. It's hard. Her smile captured forever in her final photographs. It's hard not to cry. And her legacy, the story of a woman who wanted the right to die. Cole Sullivan, 10 News. A 2018 Gallup poll found that 72% of Americans support physician-assisted suicide. It is currently legal in these nine states and the District of Columbia. Patients must have a terminal illness and only six months or less to live. There is currently no pending legislation to allow physician-assisted suicide in Tennessee, but according to deathwithdignity.com, lawmakers have tried before. Bills were filed in the 2015 and 2017 sessions, but failed to move forward. The group Tennessee Right to Life stands opposed to assisted suicide, saying we believe that accepting these forms of intentional killing reflects a complete disrespect for the dignity of each person and for each person's right to life. Right now on WBIR.com, you can read more of Cindy's story and how she came to her decision. Also, more links to information about assisted suicide.